Our Athena Jones is following the story for us. Athena, this is a very, very ugly story. Give us the very latest. It is an odd story. I suppose we shouldn't be too surprised about things happening in politics, but this was already odd. The plot seems to be thickening with these additional arrests. We have three more men who were arrested last night in connection with this political blogger, Clayton Kelly, who was arrested last week, accused of taking this photograph of Thad Cochran's wife, who is bedridden. Now, we know that the, the, the McDaniel campaign, Co Cochran's opponent, says they have nothing to do with this. We know that Kelly has been a supporter of the McDaniel campaign, but the campaign says he's no longer He's not a volunteer. He's not a staffer. We know that one of the additional three men who were arrested yesterday, one of them is a local lawyer. He's a local Tea Party leader. McDaniel's campaign has gotten a lot of support from the Tea Party. So this is all uh, involved, very involved here. I can tell you that McDaniel's campaign says they're not involved in this. Here's the statement that they released last night. They said, as we have said since day one, the violation of privacy of Mrs. Cochran is out of bounds for politics and is reprehensible. Any individuals who are involved in this crime should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. So they claim no involvement. Now, I should tell you that we just got a statement from the Cochrane campaign, and they say that this McDaniel campaign has been changing its story virtually every day, sometimes several times a day, and that these latest arrests raise even more questions that the McDaniel campaign has to answer. So it's definitely not, not looking pretty right now down there. So is the Cochrane campaign, uh, uh, Thad Cochran's campaign, suggesting that it could go higher up? Well, they're certainly suggesting that the campaign, the McDaniel campaign, must have some sort of involvement. There was a lot of discussion uh, when this, this first man was arrested a few days ago about uh, when, the, when, the Cochran, when the McDaniel campaign uh, uh, apologized to the Cochran campaign. Did they apologize before the police, police report came out? So there have been a lot of accusations back and forth, clearly a lot of distrust in this very, very ugly and tight race. Thad Cochran, as a lot of us know, he's been the Republican senator from Mississippi for years and years and years. He's widely considered to be a real, real conservative. Uh, how close is this race in the polling that you've seen? Well, we, we don't have any polling since this scandal broke over the last couple of days, but we know that the folks down there have been bracing for a pretty tight race. This was, was a race that the Tea Party hoped to make a real impact in. They were hoping that if they could get rid of this incumbent, not just an incumbent, a six-term senator, Thad Cochran, if they could get rid of him, of him, they could make a big impact. So we'll have to see what happens. The race, the, the primary day is only it's less than two weeks away, June 3rd. So we'll, we'll be watching closely to we see how it shapes will up. Be, uh, what an ugly turn of events. Uh, sneaking into that nursing home like that. Uh, all right, thanks very much.